Let's talk about Wikipedia. No, it's not evil, but it's not the best either. Librarians may whine and moan about how too many students use Wikipedia, but the truth is we use it too. I think it's perfectly okay to use Wikipedia to get you started. It can help you discover key terms, maybe some of the primary issues, and it has a list of references. But you need to move on to more authoritative resources from there. Why is Wikipedia not authoritative? Well, anyone can contribute or write an entry. And though I honestly really like the idea of open resources, this isn't what I want for my research. Generally, incorrect information will be caught on Wikipedia. That's something that is that someone will notice that a fact is wrong and then they'll correct it. But you don't want to base your paper on possibly inaccurate data. Finally, don't list Wikipedia in your reference list unless your professor says it's okay. It generally annoys them. Okay, let's do a quick search of Wikipedia so you can sort of see the difference between an online encyclopedia and one of the ones that we pay for, like Encyclopedia Britannica. Of course, first of all, you have it in a lot of different languages. We're going to just focus on English. I'm going to do a search on essential oils. Okay, there's an essential oil. Brings it up. Let's search. Okay, it actually has quite a bit of information here, and one of the things I use Wikipedia for all the time is the reference list, because this can lead me to information that is actually in the scientific literature, it can lead me to information that's reliable and high quality, and while I don't dislike Wikipedia, it's just that anyone can actually come up to this edit button and start writing pretty much whatever they want. And again, it tends to self-correct, but in some of the more obscure topic areas, this can take time. Now, one of the things that you can do with Wikipedia that's kind of interesting is you can view history of who has uh, contributed to this particular site. So we'll click on View History, and now here are, sometimes you have some usernames, so these are people who have actually registered. Other times all you have is an IP address. So, um, Unlike the Encyclopedia Britannica, where we actually have where that person works and their credentials, all we can really find here is, um, let's see, we'll click on one of these. And it talks a little bit about the user, but this is a bot, so it doesn't really tell us anything. Maybe this particular name. All right, here is this person's uh, information, some of the awards she's received for um, adding information to Wikipedia, but I don't really see anything that says, well, here's where she went to school, and this is where she teaches, and here's her degrees. That's really not the information that you're going to be able to find on Wikipedia, because a lot of these people are um, editing as anonymous, so you don't really know why they would be editing a particular article. It might be they might have a course in the race, maybe they're trying to sell a product, maybe they have a really strong opinion about something. So Wikipedia good, again, for finding references and maybe getting an overview information, but I, I would not base any research on anything you find on Wikipedia.